Hi Grade Threes, happy Friday. Welcome to your last writing lesson for the week. Well done on your writing so far in remote learning. It's been really, really good. It's been awesome to see the effort that people are putting in. It's been great to see how people are using VCOP to help them with their writing. Um, and it's also been sensational to see some people uploading some of their Authors Club. So going a little bit further with their writing and doing some extra writing, which is great to see. So as you know, Fridays are always a pos ed focus. Today, we're actually, we're not going to look at a, a character strength. We're going to have a look at help seeking, which is a really good strategy for us at the moment, considering that you're learning from home. So usually when you're asking for help or, or uh, um, help seeking, you usually might come and ask the teacher a question. But at the moment, help seeking is quite different, isn't it? So help seeking at the moment might require you to write me a message or write one of the teachers a message or to write a comment um, with a question or to ask somebody at home. Ask your mum, ask your dad, ask whoever's looking after you, ask your brother, ask your sister. There's, uh, you guys are learning how to use the technology better and knowing where to post things, all that kind of stuff. And you have to ask and look and seek for help. So today we're going to write a story about a time that you asked for, for help. So the strategy is called help seeking, but it's really just asking for help. Okay, so I'll show you my one. Mine's an example. It's a bit longer today. So help seeking. Help seeking is an important strategy. So I'm always starting with what help seeking means to me. All right, well, what asking for help means to you. Okay, help seeking is an important strategy that we can use in many different situations. We can ask for help when we're unsure about something. Help seeking is vital for our learning. So vital means you need it. Today, I'm going to tell a story about a time I didn't ask for help. When I was young, I thought I was a whiz at maths. I completed... I've forgotten something, haven't I? My work quickly and got everything right. One day, we learnt about something new in maths. My teacher explained it, and when she finished, I didn't understand at all. I was confused. I never had this problem. I always knew what to do. This might remind you of yourself, maybe. I don't know. However, I didn't ask my teacher. Instead, I pretended I knew what to do. Unfortunately, all this did was make me confused, angry, and I lost confidence. Finally, after many lessons, I told my teacher I didn't understand. She showed me another way that made sense. And then she said, you know, if you don't ask, you'll never know. I now always think of that saying when I don't know something. So my story is about how it was important for me to ask for help. I was a, when I was a kid doing my maths, I thought I don't need to ask for help. And I actually thought that asking for help meant that I didn't know that I was doing the wrong thing. I didn't know what to do, but I learned when I finally did go to the teacher that it really did help me. It made me better at my maths, it improved my understanding because I didn't know what to do. So I had to ask and then I knew. And sometimes it's hard to ask a question, um, but getting into the habit of asking a question, a thoughtful question is really, really important. And that's what help seeking is all about. All right, asking questions and finding people that you can ask a question of. So I'm looking forward to hearing your stories. You can write story about a time that you did ask for help and how it helped you or you might you know write a story about a time when you didn't ask and things didn't go well you can you can decide all right thanks guys